how we spent Christmas Eve morning before my husband went off to Epcot and performed in the candlelight processional. We grabbed some brunch reservations at the Wilderness Lodge because I've always wanted to see this beautiful Christmas tree they have in their lobby. And I don't know if I like this one more or Grand Floridian. It is a close tie, but I think I'm gonna go with this resort because it just has so many other things as well. The details and all the garlands and the wreaths, make sure you check that out. What I love about this resort is that they have multiple lounges that you can enjoy while you're waiting for your lunch or dinner reservation. Today and tomorrow, they're also doing special uh, holiday crafts and campfires. While we were exploring the lobby, a couple cast members were even going around with baskets of free cookies for the holiday. So sweet. Our favorite place here, though, is Geyser Point. We had about an hour and a half to kill until our brunch reservation. Oh, and I ran into a new friend. There's Josh, our favorite bartender there. I got a mimosa and I love the view out here. It started kind of misting, so it gave a little bit of a snowy vibe, except, you know, Florida style. Then we wandered over to the DVC lobby, which I only discovered a couple months ago even exists. And that's where you can also see this whole, like almost museum collection of Walt Disney's trains. This lobby is really pretty too. And they have this fireplace over there that you could even bring your drink to. DVC people, they're so fancy. Ooh, and then my husband sat in the Santa Claus chair and then we, got our spot for Whispering Canyon. And this place is such a trip. They have the funniest servers. You can get these all you care to enjoy plates, but we just picked a couple of a la carte menus items because we didn't want to get really full because we have a long night ahead of us. But I did get myself the mimosa flight. I only liked two of them. Two of them were a little too sweet for me. If you go here, be careful when you ask for the ketchup because they're gonna mess with you. I think we had the best table in the whole house though because we got to look over the Christmas tree. We got the barbecue eggs Benedict and the burnt nachos, burnt and nachos. And they had this Christmas cookie pop-up bar and you could get hot chocolate and add um, Fireball or Bailey's to your hot chocolate. And before we left, we took the stairs up to the second floor because this is the best view to get a picture that's gonna have the whole tree behind you. And now I'm out the door headed to Epcot to to see my husband play in tonight's candlelight processional.